Hello. First day. Tomorrow is Friday, yeah? Or even today, I'll go home like 3 o'clock, yeah? So, it's like 1 o'clock. But it's not about that. I start this video because this is an important thing, yeah? This is an important lesson. Probably the most important, yeah? So, what is the next step? Yeah, so that's my question. What is the next step after you found out your uh, laptop or your computer is dead, but you know for sure the charger is good, the charging port is good, the power, in, the power is going inside. So what is the next step? Yeah. So just before I will tell you, yeah, which is the next step. Just think yourself and ask yourself, what is the next step? Try to answer yourself what is the next step based on what you see. You have to see, you understand? So this is the, 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 the main skill. The main skill, you know, it's like in the games. Main skill, diagnosing the thing based on what you see. Yeah? Based on the current. I told you so many times, use the power supply to diagnose the things. Because with the, with the power supply, you can see. Without the power supply, you can't see anything, you know. It's, it's, it's like, you can't see. It's like plugging the charger. You can't see anything, yeah? So, that's what we will do today. We have a job here. This job, yeah? This was sent from the other shop. It's a customer job. Obviously, they tried to fix it. They couldn't fix it. They sent it here. I haven't opened. I haven't done anything, yeah? It's like an e-machine, all-in-one, yeah? Yeah, you can see there is the charging port. That's the computer, yeah? Okay. I will try to keep this here so I can press the... So I can press the, the power button here, yeah? The first, we want to see what's going on on the motherboard, you know? When you come with the power supply, you can see if it's a short there. And also you can diagnose more things, yeah? So let's check, to, we can, you can diagnose even if if your 3.3 volts power supply is on. Hi. Sorry? Uh, yeah, we, we are just working on your phones. So I think we've done like uh, two, yeah, and we have two more. We'll be probably ready today by three o'clock, yeah. Wow, <laughs> it's it's up to you. Yeah. Okay. So we need to see. We need to see what's going on on the motherboard before you open the thing, you know? Just think, the customer just come with a computer and you want to know what is the problem. On our case, we have to, to be sure if it's a charging port job or a motherboard job. The charging port is 60 pounds, the motherboard is 80. But let's say, yeah, you diagnose the thing, you, I don't know, you booked in the things like a motherboard. Next step, you check with the power supply, yeah? This is very important because the motherboard behavior, yeah, is like, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing. One second. One second. Okay, I'm really sorry for my poor English, but try to, you know. So we have ground. The ground is everywhere. You know, it's ground. You can stick it anywhere, like on a USB, on a HDMI port, on different metal things. Let me try to stick it here on one hole. Mm. 
this is very very important okay is there we have 19 on the power supply yeah you can see there the 19 so if I will touch to ground yeah it's doing anything because why because here is no ground yeah possible let me stick it here okay yeah now we, you can see oh four amps is too much so that's ground yeah clear and the plus or common the charging port yeah and we have a power is taking around 40 milliamps yeah uh, my hand is moving yeah well you got the point yeah you can see there 40 milliamps okay so what does that mean that's mean probably my 19 volts power is fine probably my 3.3 volts power supply is fine yeah so if I stick this here and I try to power up the computer yeah on you know in the next second when I press the power button the current goes like uh, zero like nothing like like something is, is, is cut out yeah so again power zero so you understand you can't see the power when I press the power button okay one more time I can't see anyway yeah maybe like that plus power zero so you know the explanation of this thing I'm sure the 3.3 volts power supply is on yeah it's up and running you press the power uh, power button yeah the super IO is doing the thing you know he start if the first thing before running the BIOS program the first thing he will bring up the power supplies yeah that's what he will do the first time if he'll try to bring up the power supplies and is something wrong there he will cut down everything yeah including the first two MOSFETs on the power on the you know on the 19 volts power rail so that's the explanation why the power get cut off when I press the power button yeah okay so what is the next step so we just seen what's going on on the power yeah what is the next step hmm? the next logical step what I will do yeah if it's a power supply meant to go on short most likely is the 5 volts one because the 5 volts supply power to the USBs yeah okay if you're supplying power to the USB let's say if you have like a short USB yeah because that's you know that's happened with the USB the customer they you just plug unplug plug unplug and the pins goes bad and make short yeah okay so the next step what I ask you is we check the USB ports that's the next step the chance of your problem to be from a USB port is very high yeah so in this case so if you check I can check like visual check this these USB ports are fine yeah well let's check together here so what do you think about a USB it's a little bit out of focus so that's that's you know I took the computer I check I seen the power I seen the power and the next step I check the USB ports and actually this is broken and the pins probably the the the, the plus five volts plus pin yeah is touching the ground you can see there so that's the reason why the motherboard is behave on this way okay so I'm pretty sure if I will just remove the the pin from the ground yeah probably my, my computer will be working fine let's check together yeah mm 
ground plus it's on you can see on the look 1.5 amps 1 amp ah sorry I moved the hand let's let's try on this way you can see it's on I just power it off 1.2 amps 1.5 ah it's not enough amps yeah so the computer is on you can see it asked me for the windows start up you can see uh, I just moved the the hand but you understand we have a up and running computer and what I did I just removed the pins from the ground yeah okay yeah you know you ask me what I will do next no I'll not replace the USB ports that will be like a hard job and the customer has to pay but I will fill up this hole with hot glue so in this way I'm sure the customer will not bend the pin and get it to touch the ground yeah okay so if you have this behavior check the the USB ports okay see you probably I don't know if he's see you tomorrow, if not next week, yeah? Have a great weekend. Bye.